This is your friend Draco Questy. Welcome back to Lumion Legacy, where today I have something special for you guys. So, meanless to say, out of episode, I was doing some grinding, and I have captured a few footages of that grind. Basically, I've been able to catch a few more Lumions, and I also collect trash out of the sea by fishing. Now, if you missed the last episode, it was quite an eventful one. Link to that will be down in the description below, as well as in the iCard up above. But basically, we had to fight one of those. Yeah, see that right over there? We had to fight a Samarine, which was corrupted. But luckily, that's all behind us. And now we've gotten some tickets, but there is a little problem for that. So basically, we got some tickets to Anthean City. However, we can't access it. Look at this. Hey, Drago! Are you ready to go to An Atlantean City? Yeah, I, I don't know why, but usually it's Atlantean, and sometimes it's Anthean. I, I don't, I don't understand. But, but look at this. There are traffic cones on. Yes, that means it's not out yet. So, uh, I'm sorry, guys, but not quite yet. Oh, well, hurry up then. Yeah, we'll do. <laughs> but we'll do, Mabel. Okay, but before we continue it, I think there's something right behind here. Oh, yes, there is! Oh, oops. Let's see, can I open the chest? Oh, yes! Oh, power fruits! Okay, those might come in handy, because... Meanless to say, I've been doing some grinding, and leveling up my Lumions out here is not easy. Even for the punching bag, it's not easy. Like, I, I basically had to plan ahead or, or use legendaries in order to, to defeat that Samarine, it was not fun. But basically, I need to level up my Lumions as soon as possible. And speaking of which, that is why I'm making this episode. Before we get into it, I will show you a few clips of what I've been able to catch, as well as show you them right on my screen. So without further ado, let's take a look at those clips. Wait, I can fish in the shallow water, too? Hmm. Did not know that. Wait. <gasps> oh! A cave niche? Okay, that's new. Um... Alright, so... Hmm. Let's see, is Cloudy any good here? Okay, maybe not as good, but... Let's use what we have. So, use Gust, there we go. This is cool, I wasn't expecting to catch a fish today. Uh oh, oh no 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 no, okay. Whew, close call. Alright, let's try with something else. Okay, Ario. Let's see what you got. Uh oh. Okay, it's not effective against the Ario. I think that's because Aerial is a plant type. So. Hmm. Yeah, if we use Wonder Herb. I wonder what Wonder Herb can do. Will that heal it? Oh! Oh no, it just spreads it to the team. Okay, um. I wonder what the. I wonder what the herb can help with. It's at that point. Um, let's see, so. I mean, we could try a wave disc. Yeah, let's try a wave disc real quick. Let's see if this works. Because if not, we have the blossom disc. Yeah, I do have a problem seeing the discs in the water. But it's not a problem, because we caught it anyway. But we can't get across here. I wonder, was there anything. That we could get. Oh! Alumica! I remember seeing you. Yeah, just in case you don't know, I faced Alumicas from another trainer. Let's see, so. Model Swipes isn't good here. I think Lumica is an Earth type, if I'm not mistaken. 
but again, I'm not so sure. So, we could experiment a little bit. Like, this is really interesting. There are all these new types of Lumians here, and... Uh-oh. Poison Bar, so I, I shouldn't trade... So I shouldn't trade my Lumians when they use the Poison Barbs, because Poison Barbs affect the area. And basically what they do is, if you trade another Lumian in the field... Okay, sorry about that. If you trade a, another Lumian in the field with those Barbs out, it will poison them. So... I mean, we could try another Wave Disc. What else do we have? I mean, we have plenty of Wave Discs. It couldn't hurt to use a few. But is this gonna work? Like, I, I think the only way to tell is if they pop out of it. Because we can't see it in the water. But it looks like we caught one. What? Oh, what? Oh. Amakami? Okay, this is different. It kind of looks like a sea turtle, I think? So, yeah, I, I don't think metal types are good against water, so... Maybe... Okay, yeah, you may have lowered my stats, but... Oh! Oh! That's good, that's good. So... Wait! Oh! What? What did it do? Hmm. I'm not sure. Um... I think we could go for another wave disc. I, I kind of look. I kind of like the looks of the Makami. I probably would add that to the team too. And it worked. All right, so the Makami. Yep, that's right. I've been able to catch a few more Lumians. Some of them you can only obtain while walking on the water, like Sebastian, Crush, and Sally. Whereas others, you have to fish them up. Uh, oh, and also, also Gal. Wait, basically these Lumians in particular I have to find in the water by walking on it. Whereas for fishing, I can find Wisps and... Also, oh, uh, I mean, I named the Wisp Wisp, but that's not what it's called. I named it Wisp. What's it called? A Cavenish. Okay. Yeah, I, I've named them, so couldn't really remember them all the way. Oh, they have these here? Oh, that would have made things easier. Okay, but that's not why I'm here for. Basically, I'm going to evolve my Lumians. Now, you might be wondering, isn't that going to take a while? But the thing is, for these Lumians up here, they can evolve to their next level. Some of them will evolve to level 17. That way, if you rally some of them, you can evolve them a little later. But these, you can evolve really early. So basically, that's what this video is all about. I am going to encounter a few Lumians, whether it be through fishing, or maybe through walking in the water. And I'm going to basically get them to that point. So we'll start with Gal at this moment. Oh, ooh. But it is risky. They are still, like, at the same level, so as much damage as I can do to them, I can they could do the same damage on me. So yes, I'll evolve all my Lumians here. Or basically, I'll, I'll give them experience till they reach their next level. And by then, we'll actually see them evolve. So with that in mind, let's start off with Gal here. Oh, whoa! Uh, what the... That's a Lumion? Um... How did he get the Pagoda? Like... Uh... Okay, uh... <laughs> how did he get one? Like... Oh, for Amazon? What? Um... Nice? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I don't know how you get that. Uh, do you guys know, perhaps? Like, uh, 
please let me know down in the comments below concerning of how you get the pagoda. That's a surprise to me. Alright, so... Yeah, if I didn't record then, like, I don't think you guys would have believed me when I saw someone with a pagoda as a Lumian. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's also something good about fishing. You can fish up trash here. We're cleaning the ocean a bit. So, basically if we keep going through here, there we go. Oh, oh, worn rope! That's right, I get worn ropes out here too. So basically, here's some of the trash I gotten. Musty boots, rusty cans, junk tires, and worn ropes. I wonder what the worn ropes are for. Like, let me know down in the comments below as well concerning of what these worn ropes are used for. Because, for me, I'm not sure. Okay, we got a Lumia. Oh, it's just another Gopi. Yeah, to be fair, the, the other ones are a lot harder to find. So, hopefully, for Gal, this is the last Lumion that she'll need in order to evolve. Oop. Nope. No body slam. And, while we're at it, we could switch around with some of our other Lumions, just so that they give experience too. I still don't know what happened to their calls, like, their... Their calls... So far, I, I, all I hear is just this beep. Like, it, do you guys know why they do they use beeps instead of calls? Uh, never mind. Uh, Any who's less, now it's not important. Oh, sharp edges. Should have thought wiser, Gopi. Oh, it's out of there. All right, let's see. Is this going to work for Gal? Yes! Gal evolved! Or, or gained a level. Let's see the magic! Yes! Just as I thought. Alright, let's see what she'll turn out to be. Here we go! Whoa! She looks like a sailor! Congratulations, your gal evolved to a snaggle. A snaggle? Let's see. Oh, Venom Chomp. Oh, sure, yeah. Let's see, Venom Chomp. Or actually, why don't we see the gal in battle? Just to see what she looks like. Oh, it's the cave and niche! That's right! You only get these through fishing. Alright, so can we do anything here? Oh, Venom Chop's really good here. Here we go. Ooh, nice. And poison, too. That's amazing. That surely is amazing. All right. Now, um, let's go with... Uh, yeah, why not? Let's switch to Sebastian. Uh oh. Well, that might not be a good idea. No, 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 no! Woo! Woo! Okay. Okay, that wasn't smart thinking on my part. See anything we can do? Oh, there's nothing that we can really do here. Um. Yeah, let's switch over to Sally real quick. Maybe Sally would be our better candidate. Unless. No! Okay, that's it. That's it. I've learned my lesson there. Gal is our best candidate. She might be able to handle the life drain. Basically... If we do Venom Chomp one more time, we should be able to take out the cave finish. There we go! Whew. That was close! I did not expect all my Lumions to get knocked out so quickly. 
Oh, yes! We poisoned a few more Lumians. That's good! Alright. Hold on. Healing time again. Wow. Guys, again, I don't know how they get the these pagodas. Like, again, please, please, let me know down in the comments below concerning of where you can find these things. Like, this... This is a surprise to me. I never knew such a thing existed here. But hopefully... Oh! A pyramid! That does remind me. So... Yeah, I did capture a pyramid, but I think if you capture a few more of these, you'll be able to gain a bit of trainer XP. And... Doesn't look like it. the smashing can do much. Um, uh, let's switch over to Sally. Let's see if she can do anything about this. So, ooh, chase down's good. Let's see what that can do. Ooh, didn't do a whole lot, but oh no. Ooh, okay, okay. So, well, let's try Eerie Stare just to lower their defenses. That way, when we do it again... Oh, Speed too! That's good! So, okay, it may need to rest. So, yeah, when it rests like this, we should be able to use an attack move. From there, we can do the most damage. So... Let's use... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, let's just... Uh, let's just wait. Let's just wait out its turn. There we go. Oh, boy. Okay, okay. Let's just raise the stats. So, if we use Chase Down one more time, we should be able to... Oh, wait! I was planning to catch it, didn't I? Oops. But, nothing to worry about. What? Sebastian's not there yet? Like, are you kidding me? I thought for sure that we had it. Right, so... Let's try this again. Okay, Sebastian. This has to be it. There we go. Alright, so... For Wisp, and gains enough experience, but for Sebastian, he's finally been able to evolve. Let's see the magic. That's right, he's evolving. Alright, Sebastian, let's see what you will become. Looks like a, a a snail. Your Sebastian evolved to Lumello. Let's see. Oh, Baneful Bash. Oh, sure, yeah. Baneful Bash. Why can opponent possibly affecting them with poison? Hmm. Oh, look at Sebastian. Hey, bud. Oh, kind of bored. Eh. That's explainable. Like, look at the model! Let's see him into battle. Let's see what he looks like. Oh! A Makami! A uh, Makami? But yeah, it's Crash! Uh, ooh, Baneful Bash is really good here! Oh no. Okay, not very effective. And... And Sebastian still has rough edges! That's really good! Oh! Poison the, Nam the Makami! There we go. So, let's just... Let's just use a basic water bomb. A charade? Okay, here we go! That's it! We did it! <laughs> That's so good! Sebastian's really good here! Our next contestant is Sally. And I really like the looks of her. She she walks sideways like a crab. Well, like a crab would. 
so let's see. Oh, she is really close, so if you we do an eerie stare. Oh no, provoke! That's kind of a problem with these snaggles, is because they know provoke, and it's really annoying. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh no 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 no! Do you wonder if Sally's like like a bug type, if you know what I mean. Alright, so, we'll bring out Crush for this. Oh no, Poison, no! Okay. I, I thought the... What's that other fish? The, the Caffinish? I thought that was a killer, but the Snackles are getting to that border. They know some very deadly moves here. So, if you use Snow Chomp, no. Okay, Chili Chomp, once more. Okay, that's it. Crush, I'm getting you out of there. Oh, yeah. And I am going to be erasing Wisp up to evolution today because apparently they fall at level 23. And for Wisp here, She's at 24 right now, so she should be alright. So... Let's see, if we use Leaf Barrage... There we go. And now... Life Drain? Oh, I wonder if Wonder Herb's gonna help my team here. Like, I mean, it could. But, I, I may need to look it up. Alright. Medical time again. And one more bludgeon. There we go! We did it! Now, Sally should be able to evolve then. Alright, here we go! Yes, Sally! Alright. Let's see how you look, girl! Here we go! Whoa! Sally! She evolved into Candabo? Okay, I was not expecting her to look like this. Let's see, Clobber. Yeah! <laughs> Let's see. Recklessly clobber your foe with a rugged claw, hurting yourself? Ooh. I mean, it's a powerful move, but if it hurts myself in the process... Will it be worth it, though? Like, maybe if I have a way to heal myself... Hmm... Ooh, look at her! Like... Oh, it's too bad I can't hear any of these calls, like... Yeah, she definitely looks very scary. So... Okay, so, it's a Nakami. Let's use Clobber. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh! It just took out the, the Nakami! That's brutal! I do suppose that that recoil definitely balances that move. Like, that's brutal! Just took out the creature in one hit! Alright, so our next contestant is going to be Crush, and he is getting a little close. And he is effective against a Snaggle, but... Oh, yes! Crush! Well done! Wait, what? Aw, oh, man! Uh, Alright, let's try that again. So, only wants to do damage moves, that's alright. Yes, it worked! But it didn't do a lot of damage, though. Well, let's try that again. So, oh, scavenge, no. Okay, okay. Oof. Close call. Alright, uh, let's try Harmonious Chord. Oh, no. Alright, let's just wait out the turn. There we go.
So yes, if we used... Oh wait, I should have used Frostbite for that. It, it would have, it would have knocked the Snackle out. So yeah, again, this will take a while in order for a Crush to evolve. So I'll skip ahead till I evolve Crush, and it's out of there. Now hopefully Crush should. Yes, he got another level. Perfect. So that means yes. He is evolving! Here we go! Ooh! <laughs> nice! A Makaro? Hmm, I actually like the looks of this one. Uh, sure, yeah. So, Aqua Jaws, huh? Let's see Crush into play! Oh, a Lumica? Oh dear, now I should have kept Charade. Uh... uh okay, let's use Harmonious Chord. Because I, I know that it could put Lumians to sleep. It actually happened before. But it's a really slim chance, so... Like, oh, Poison Barbs? Eh, nothing to worry about. Let's use Harmonious Chord again. Will it put him to sleep? Oh yes! It put him to sleep! Perfect! Alright, so... With that in mind... Let's just use a basic Water Bomb. Oh, what? I guess it's not effective, so let's just use. Oh, nope. Let's just wait out the turn. There we go. Oh, it woke up. Alright, uh. Oh, ouch. Alright, harmonious chord. There we go! Whew, that was close. Like. Um, uh, although. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't too close, like... So far, Crush is still alive, and he looks amazing! He looks like a... Like a martial artist, sort of. And he's still bored. Alright. So that leaves us with one more... Wisp. And I think for her, it's gonna... It's gonna be a while, so... Yeah, again, I'll skip ahead until I get her to that point, because so far, like, there isn't a whole lot that I can do other than just wait things out. So again, I'll skip ahead till I bring Wisp to that point. There we go! Ooh. That was close. Yes! Wisp! Alright. Let's see the magic. Ooh, bubble! Nice! <laughs> Here we go! Alright, Wisp! Let's see what you'll become! Whoa! Wisp! Your Wisp up off to... Banfino? Hold up. Oh, harvest. Oh, sure. Yeah. Harvest. Feed the target to help them recover health. Alright, hold on. Let's check her out. Ooh. Wait, is that a banana on her, on her nose? Hey. Hello. Oh. oh, right. She's sick. That's because she's poisoned! Hold on, uh... Let's see, so... Is that the right city? That's right, she's feeling sick because she was poisoned! But, luckily... For us... That won't be much of an issue... Because we can bring her... Back... To the Lumicare. Like... 
it, does she look like she has... Uh, yeah, she does. It looks like she has bananas uh, on her tail. I wonder if that's like a design feature. There we go. Well, there you have it. That's all the Latsuni... Yeah, the Latsuni Beach Lumians all evolved. And I've got to say, that's really amazing. And also, I'm actually glad that they can only evolve after you level them up just once, because... Yeah, that will be time-consuming, because there are some that are there, like Sam. The only problem is, he evolves at level 38, which is going to be a long grind, if I do say so myself. Alright, let's head back to the beach. Here we go! Well, there you have it! All five Lumians evolved here in the beach. So, to start things off, we had Gaul, who looks really amazing. And yes, she is a toxic type. That's good. And then we have Sebastian. I've gotta say, it really looks cool. So it's just a water type, but I think it might be toxic too. Well, it, or maybe not. I, I don't really know. Next we have Sally, who looks terrifying if I do say so myself. Like, look at her. She looks really scary. Like, I think there was like, yeah, there was. There's the, there's the Oni on her back. Definitely gives a frightening look. And then we have Crush. I've, I've got to say, looks really cool. And finally, we have Wisp. The Banfino. Oh, yeah, Banana! <laughs> Alright, that makes much more sense. Now, there. so basically, most of these are fully evolved. And that will be Wisp, Sally, and Sebastian. But Gal and Crush, there is one more state. But that will be... Uh, basically, that will take a while. So, if you enjoyed this video nonetheless, feel free to leave a like and consider joining our Adventure Clan by subscribing. And also, I do have a question. Can you pass through this? Because I've noticed that this path will lead to the back of this statue, which also the statue itself. I think it's a really interesting statue here. Because this is the same a similar statue to what I saw in Mount Igneous, but the only difference is their eye color. Their eye colors are different. So yeah, that passageway that you saw before, that goes around this rock, it leads over there to where X marks the spot. Definitely makes me curious concerning of what's on the other end. So if you enjoy it, and if you want to see more, Feel free to leave a like and consider joining our adventure clan by subscribing. I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, feel free to join me on our next adventure. Till then, this is Drago Questy. See you later! Hold up. Hold up before I do anything. I just discovered something. So, you remember that pagoda I was talking about earlier? Well, let's just say if you actually put Ikasune up on the top, look at what you have! You have your very own pagoda! Like, how crazy is that? Like, I, I thought it was a, a Lumion in itself, but no. It's just, it's just a retexture of Ikatsune. Like, <laughs> let's see. Oh, <laughs> they're asking how did you get that? Ikatsune. Reskin. <laughs> like. <laughs> I think many people were confused as to where they find this, like, 
it's just a reskin. A reskin of Ikatsune. Like, <laughs> I, I thought it was something that we had to find, but no, it's just a reskin. Like, <laughs> well, I think for that, um, actually, oh, this might be a bad idea, but let's go try it out. I might have chosen the wrong location, but look at it! It looks so... <laughs> it looks exactly like the Pagoda! And it's strong, too! Like, is it stationary? I think it's stationary! Like, what on earth? <laughs> Well, I guess that is April Fool's. Like, seriously, the time I'm recording this, it's April Fool's Day. So, just in case you're wondering how you get the pagoda, it's just in Ikatsune. So basically, bring Ikatsune at the front. Like, let's take a look at the stats. Let's... <laughs> wow. Guys, that's wild. Like... Like... <laughs> When I saw that, I, I was, I was surprised, like, seriously, really surprised. So, if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, as well as Easter eggs, <laughs> you go ahead and click that like button. Also, don't forget to join our Adventure Clan by subscribing, like, <laughs> the pagoda's hopping around. <laughs> I'll see you guys again soon! Thank you so much for watching! And of course, feel free to join me in our next adventure! Till then, this is Drago Questy! See you later!